in this video, we are looking at Heimvision's newest smart security camera. They are sleek and small and pretty sweet. Now, I've looked at other Heimvision products. I looked at their network video recording system, and I've looked at their smart doorbell, so I'm looking forward to checking this one out, too. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way, you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there, too. Now, let's unbox, set up, and test out this sweet. Like I said in the introduction, we are going to be looking at Heimvision's newest security camera, and I will compare it a little bit to the Simply Safe security camera toward the end of this video. I'm not going to be comparing like the video comparison, but just really a head-to-head -head look at the two cameras. Um, but let's get into an unboxing right now. All right, so we're going to unbox our Heimvision Smart Wi-Fi camera, model Mate A1. All right, I've cut the tab, opened the box. So inside I have what looks like another box. And yet another box. All right, so I have three boxes. These two have stuff in them. This one's probably the directions. All right, so let's open up this one. It has the camera in there. Ooh, that looks cool. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was based on the box. All right, so it's interesting looking, right? So it has a sort of hinge here at the back that you can up and down. Look around, that's okay. Oh, I have a QR code on the bottom. Um, micro USB, it's got a speaker. Well, that's pretty cool. All right, so this one's probably my directions. And this one is the cord, I'm guessing. Oh, so I've got some screws, a 3M sticker, a USB cable, and a plug. And I do like that it has a plug. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read through these directions and then set up the camera. Reading through the directions, I like that they have a QR code where they're going to be updating the user manual. That's kind of cool. But I also like how companies provide this. They provide a direct link either through the Android, well, this was Android, but Android uh, Google Play or the App Store. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my phone, pull up the App Store, and download this app. Now, I have other Heimvision products, so I'll be interested to see if it's the same app. I do wanna show you this um, as I was looking at the camera. You can leave it installed in this format or it can actually be installed upside down, right? You can stick this to the bottom of something and through the app, you can orientate the camera. That's kind of cool. All right, so let's turn my phone on, get the um, app installed and set this thing up. Let's open up my camera app. I'm gonna cover up the iPhone QR code. So just sees the Android one. Yes, I want to open that web link. So it's popping up, you saw Google Store. Mm. So it does not look like it's using the same app because I already have an app installed in this phone for Heimvision. So let's install the new app. When this is done, I'll bring you back. It's a 50 megabyte file, download in just a few minutes. So it's asking me if Heimvision can access my location. I click allow when, oh, let me zoom out a little. Allow when using this app. Um, so yes, it can use my photos. Sure, it can record audio. What I found in the past is if you deny that, you can't actually use the app. All right, so I've already set up an account, so you go do that now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log in, and I'm logged into my account that I've already signed up. I just did it a little bit ago, um, just for the ease of the video. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up one of these cameras. I actually have two of them, so I'm gonna set this up, and then we're gonna test it out. Let's set up our camera. So we're gonna hit plus. So I hit the next button. Now I'm gonna hit the camera here. I'm gonna install a camera. And this is a this is telling me to connect my camera to the power source. The power source is right here. But I do wanna say in just a little bit, it's gonna ask you to reset it. And the reset button is actually right here. You just push and hold for five seconds or so. This is a spot where your micro SD card can go if you do not have a cloud service and you wanna maintain the, um, charging you want to keep the recording i'm sorry all right so let's plug this in so i've just plugged that in 
And now I'm gonna wait for this camera to boot up completely. Oop, there it goes, it's a purple light. It's gonna have some audible sounds like saying camera ready or something, but it'll be a blue light, I'll bring you back then. So it just told me that my camera can start and now I'm waiting for a connection. So I'm gonna hit next right here that I'm connected it to a power source. Now it's telling me to push and hold for five seconds, so let's do that. So now this is gonna go through the rebooting cycle once again, and then we'll hit this little toggle button and then hit next. I've just been told the camera is gonna start, so I'll hit the check button, hit next. So now I'm gonna to connect to my um, Wi-Fi, and I just have my generic password, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's hit next. All right, so now what's gonna happen is on my screen, I'm gonna have a QR code, and so I'm not gonna show that because the QR code is private to my account specifically. So I'm gonna hold the phone away from this camera, but just so you can see what I'm doing. I have noticed, because I've set these up, I have another one that I set up, and I noticed that if I have the phone up and down like this, it does not read the QR code. You actually have to turn the phone sideways. I'll show you that. All right, so I'm gonna hit next. Well, I sit corrected because evidently it read it that time. The time I did it before, it would not read it unless I um, unless I turn it sideways. But this time it read it, so that's okay. So now it says Wi-Fi connection success. I'm just going to name this, um, let's just call it the living room. So I've named it the living room camera. Now that I am connected and in the app, if I ever want to see the camera footage of what's going on, I can click the picture, all right? So let me just click it and I'll show you. Hey there, it's me. So it's pretty cool, it's pretty responsive, and I actually like the quality of the camera. I will say you may have noticed that you saw a camera name that said yard. These are inside cameras. And so I guess if you put it in a window facing outward, you can say yard, but you're not supposed to have these outside in the elements. They are not weather tight. So tell me, what do you think about these little security cameras? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Have you used something like this before? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. So in this video, we were just doing a walkthrough of the HeimVision new security camera. I will say, if you opt not to have an SD card and you opt not to have the cloud service, you do not get any kind of recording of videos. Now, in this, you saw that I recorded a video, and that's because I was looking at it live. I, hit, I was looking at it live, and I hit record, and it stored it to my phone. It does not always record it to your phone unless you're looking at it live and click record, if that makes sense. If you're interested in one of these cameras, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a great day. I wanted to show you a few more things. One, if I wanted to add another camera, I click this plus at the top, but if I wanted to change the orientation of my camera itself, remember how I told you before, you could either mount it sticking straight up like this, oop, too close, or it could be upside down. Well, it's all to do with this installation mode. So you click that, so you either have one or the other. All right, so, Lastly, what I want to do is I want to show you a comparison between this camera and the Simply Safe camera. Let me turn the light on here a little bit. There we go. All right, so here I have the two cameras. This is the camera I have for my Simply Safe, and this is my Heimvision camera. So you can see the difference in size. I will tell you what I like about Simply Safe more than Heimvision. I like that I can have a shutter that actually closes, that I know it's not being accessed by anyone and it is off and I just know that. That's not available here on the Heimvision one. I will tell you these cost a little bit less, are a little smaller. Um, you can put them in different places. I you know it's funny, after I put out my, re my video on this, I found out that you can slide this back off and put your um, charger in that way. I had a difficult time putting it in, but a couple people reached out and told me. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the differences between the two. There is a size difference, but there's also a price difference. I do like that this is a standalone, right? So I have my own app just for this camera, whereas in the Simply Safe one, I have to go into the Simply Safe app, open up the camera, so that's a little cumbersome too. Just a simple comparison of the two cameras. I really wanted to show you the size difference, um, and I wasn't really comparing the video and such. So 
I will say, I forgot to mention this during the review video, but there's a feature on the Heimvision camera that you get notified if your camera gets triggered, like boop, boop, um, and it just comes through all the time. Like it tells you, oop, motion detected, oop, it's a human. So that's kind of neat. Uh, I do want to reinforce that if you want to have a recording of a video, you either need to have the SD card or the cloud service. In this video, I referenced the Simply Safe Security Camera video that I did a review of not that long ago. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link that video right up here. And I would love it if you would click on this link. And by the magic of the internet, when you click right here, I'm going to join you at that review. So go ahead, click it. It's safe. I promise.